go in there. Right. And you heard the word of God and you refused. Yeah, right. You turned and came back over here. You see that? So you were in the Bible. Let, let me show you. Let me show you. Let me show you. Let me show you. And then, I, I want, I want. Right, okay, let me show you. The book of Ecclesiastes. Chapter 119 and verse 142. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, uh -huh. and thy law is the truth. And what is the truth? And thy law is the truth. The very laws that the Most High gave us. He said, Teacher. That's what we got to be keeping. Are, are you with me, sis? Are you with me? We got to be keeping his laws. There's no, no, no laws keep being kept over there. In fact, we're breaking laws over there. Now I'm going to show you what you did. Give me a first tip. Four and uh, seven. I'm gonna show you what you did. See, you 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 doing something right now. You don't even you're not even aware. Of it. But we're aware of it because we read this. Now watch this. The book of First Timothy, uh -huh. chapter four and verse seven. But refuse profane and old wives' tales. It says refuse. Really? But refuse profane and old wives' tales. But refuse profane and old wives fables. Old wives fables. This is a fake. I'm saying a fable is these nations, they make up things and they give it to us and we just run with it. Right. These are fables. These are not the laws of God. Right. That's right. That's right. These are fables. Right. But what did you do? Read it again from the top. This, this is what you did. Listen. But refuse profane and old wives fables. You were just about to go in there. Right. And you heard the word of God and you refused. Yeah, right. You turned and came back over here. You see that? Right. So you were in the Bible. Right. You're moving in the Bible. Are you understanding what I'm saying? You're moving in the Bible. But you got to stay. You, you, just got, you, you don't move away from the faith of today. Then go back into them tomorrow. Right. You got to come out and be taught. See, we all had to be taught. Give me John 6.5. 
Bring it out. Bring it out. See, we, we, we got the all be talking. I don't want to leave you with my, with my words. You say, well, this means we're going to go to the scriptures. That's right. Because we want you to know that we're giving you God's word. That's right. Right. You, you won't need that in the Christian church. I know I didn't do it for, for almost 50 years I was in there. He never pointed out scriptures to me. That's right. Right. And we're going to get scripture. Right, it's according to his opinion. But well, we're not giving you a point of our opinion. We, we got to all be talking. That's why we out here. Read that. Listen to this. The book of John, chapter 6, uh -huh. and verse 45. It is written in the prophets, uh -huh. and they shall be taught of God. And every man, therefore, that have heard and have learned of the Father cometh unto me. You look at the man and the woman that have done that. And it's still again. Read that again. It is written in the prophets, uh -huh. and they shall be taught of all taught of God. Every man, therefore, that hath heard and have learned of the Father cometh unto me. That's what we have done. We've heard of the Father. That's why we're out here. You heard it from across the street, and you refuse to go in there and listen to those papers. That's what's happening today. Are you seeing that? Right. They're going to stick to that. I'm going to show you why they're sticking to that. Give me John uh, 11. Give me John 11. Start at verse 47. I'm going to show you exactly why both all these churches, there's nothing new under the sun. This was going on back then. Listen to this. The book of John, chapter 11 and verse 47. Bring it up. Then gathered the chief priests and the Pharisees a council and said, okay. your, your, The chief priests and the Pharisees today are, are these ministers in these churches. That's right. These are, these are the wicked Pharisees. They don't believe. They don't believe this. They believe what they're saying. They believe in the faith. And they teach in the faith. Right. We're teaching the word of God and we're giving it to you, the word of God. They're not going to pull these scriptures out here to you like we're doing and explain them to you. They're not going to do that. We're going to explain the scriptures to you. But I want you to listen to this. I'm just showing you that back in the old, in old time, they were doing the same thing. It's nothing new. they still doing it. Yeah, now listen to what's going on. Listen closely to this. Read. Then gathered the chief priests uh -huh. and the Pharisees a council uh -huh. and said, What do we? For well, this man doth many miracles. That's what they're saying. Hey, what are we going to do about these guys over here across the street uh, teaching this Bible like that? What? Listen, you know, they, they tell you, that's what else they said. Listen. If we let him <laughs> thus alone, uh -huh. all men will believe on him. If we leave him alone, we got to call the get him out of here. Right. If we just leave him alone, leave him there, people going to start coming and believe him. Right. The same thing was going on then. That's going on right now. Are you, are you saying that's it? Read that again from the top. I want you to meditate on that. Listen to that. Read. Then gather the chief priests and the Pharisees a council. Your preachers and pastors and teachers of today. And said, What do we? For this man does many miracles. Uh -huh. If we let him thus alone, all men will believe on him. And the Romans shall come and take away both our place. They're going to take our position in the church. You know, I've been in the church 20 years. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a, yeah, I'm a, I'm a, no, no. I'm talking about this pastor. I've been over here doing this thing for 30 years, you know, I'm up and great. I'm making this amount, X amount of dollars now. No, 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 no. Yeah, we move around. We move around. Yeah, we all over. We all over. Basically, we're grown. Right. But my point to you today is that these pastors, so we're prophesying right now. You're in the midst of prophecy. So everybody in the midst of prophecy, prophecy the men having their heads covered in the midst of prophecy or praying, do what? Dishonoreth his head. We dishonor Christ when we do that. So when the words come out, we can't have our heads covered. That's right. Not the men. Bring it out. You see that? You know what I'm saying? All right, now let's, let's go to the father. Let's keep listening. We got to listen to this. But every woman uh -huh. that prayeth or prophesied with her head uncovered, uh -oh. dishonoreth her head. The woman prayed or prophesied, and you missed the prophecy, with her head uncovered. She dishonoreth her head. Now who is her head? Her husband. And if she don't have a husband, the leaders in the church. But when prayer type prayer and prophecy is coming out, then her head should be covered. When you're praying or prophesying, her head is supposed to be covered. So when you come to the school, cover, put a covering on the head. Like a head wrap, a scarf, a head wrap. Yeah, uh, like a, like a. Some sisters have it like they have shown. But it's still. Sometimes they have some of the hair shown. Yeah, you have to hang out. As long as the head is covered, the top of your head is covered. 
whatever you whatever you choose. The rap, right, right. Wrapped up, right. But people do it for different reasons. But our sisters, our wives, and it's true, we do it for this purpose right here. Because we understand the order. You see? Right, we, we, we study it. Now look, she's putting on the script. Wait a minute now, where are I? I'm not, I'm not trying to call the script. Okay, right. I understand. I understand. So you have been looking into this battle. But now you get ready to get it. You better go on the journey. Okay, right. This is, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you how you, how you do it. Right. This is how you're going to know. I'm coming to this first of all, but let me show you. You say you've been reading about it, but it's one reason why you haven't been getting understanding. Like you didn't now. Let, let me show you. Let me show you. Uh -huh. Right. That's listen, right. Listen, right. Listen to this. Right. The book of Psalms, chapter 111 and uh -huh. verse 10. Uh -huh. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Now, how do we fear God? How do we fear the Lord? Say, that's where your wisdom gonna come from, fearing the Lord. So how do we fear the Lord? Huh? I want you, I'm gonna see if you know. It says, it says, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. So how do you fear the Lord? No, no, how do you fear the Lord? Because you gotta fear the Lord in order to get the wisdom. Let me, let, let me show you. Come on, show me. Let me, I, I want, I have been taught Right, off. okay, let me show you. The book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12 and verse 13. Uh -huh. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Uh -huh. Fear God and keep his commandments. That's how you feel alone. Okay. That's right. Well, I know it, but I didn't you know it. You don't know exactly what you're But yeah, that's, that's the whole, the whole objective of this whole truth is keeping God's law. That's right. And now how you gonna get the knowledge? Go, go back to this. No, you're gonna get no no. You gotta come, you, you gotta come and learn, you gotta be taught. You can't just go, you got you gotta you just can't go there and know all this what you all know because you don't get Yeah, when you come and, and be around like minded people, we got sisters, our wives be at the school. And they you know, when you're around like minded, they have they have uh and they talk and they learn and we teach them and they learn. And so you you'll learn by being around like minded people. Right. So that's what you hear. Look up the too, so read it. Psalm, chapter and verse 10. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. A good understanding have all they that do his commandments. See, also you get a good understanding. You get a good understanding if you do his commandments. To the best of your right. right. Now you get more knowledge. So the more you know, the more you get to do. Right? Okay, okay. That's why you're here. That's why you, you've been trying to do it. That's why you're here. Now you're, on, you're definitely on the right road. Listen, listen to this right here. We're talking about good right now. Romans chapter 7 and verse 12. Uh -huh. Wherefore the law is holy, and the commandment holy, uh -huh. and just, and good. The law. You gotta go back across that street? Okay, we're gonna get somebody to walk you back. I'm saying, still, we're gonna get one of the brothers to walk you across the street.
working so hard to serve God And why when I say that I'm a Jew with sound art For years I've been walking around saying that I'm a black man I ain't saying that no more, it's sound man This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ Please subscribe to our YouTube channels Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us. Subscribe to our Instagram. Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.